The Denver Zoo is mapping out a master plan, new and improved polar bear pools, large scale animal habitats. And also, Molly, places for visitors to get really close to those mm -hmm. animals, like you are right now to those elephants. <laughs> the now's Kristen Scovera stopped by the zoo to pull back the curtain on the master makeover. This lion's plans don't extend further than a midday cat nap. But the Denver Zoo is looking 15 to 20 years in the future. We started with a facility assessment and really looked at what the needs were for our animals and our guests. George Pond is the man behind the plan, more than four years in the making. Six exciting uh, exhibit complexes or projects and th up to 32 new buildings on our, on our campus. Uh, really an expansion of some of the great things we've been doing over the last 20 years. Currently, the zoo has 71 buildings on campus. We have buildings on our campus from the 1800s uh, all the way up to, to 2012 and almost everything in between. The new master plan would replace many of these outdated structures with the latest, greatest and greenest in sustainable design. A coastal project that is a new home for our polar bears and sea lions and, and creates a flexible aquatic habitat spaces where uh, polar bears and sea lions can move around through the day into different pools. George says many of the proposed structures and exhibits would get rid of the traditional unsightly fences, giving guests a truly wild experience.